Great, I just wanted to make sure that we got this webinar recorded. Hey everybody, my name is Mark Stevenson. Welcome to Coleman and Company's first, um, first nightly webinar. And this is gonna be one of many hosted by the ever capable Mark Vila. All right, right. thank now, you. Now, don't get us confused. My name is Mark, this is Mark. So there's definitely, definitely a difference. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the cut and press today. I hope you have, um, you found us on Facebook already at the, uh, at the Custom Apparel Starters Facebook page, or you've listened to our comedy routine on caspodcast.com, yeah, oh, yeah, where we actually try to uh, educate folks on the custom apparel business. But at this point, I am just going to um, to step to the side here and uh, and introduce Mark. Mark? Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate the friendly introduction, and thanks, everybody, for coming out, uh, or really staying in, just logging in. Uh, but we appreciate you coming to take a look at the cut and press system. And we're talking about vinyl t-shirts today. So if you're in the apparel industry, you're looking at this because you probably realize how important it is to add uh, a vinyl system to your business. Um, or this might be the, a start for you. Either way, you're, you're heading in the right direction. Okay, now I'm going to stop you with a sure. question right, right off the bat, and, and I hope it throws you off completely. All right, let's do it. Because you said the vinyl t-shirt system. You're not... You're not selling vinyl T-shirts, are you? What What are you What are you talking about? I mean, the T-shirts aren't made from vinyl. It's not like leather. Exactly. Okay. Well, we'll then stepping back from that. So what we do in that when you're creating custom T-shirts, there's a few ways to do it, and a few ways you've probably heard of uh, direct to garment printing. There's screen printing, uh, and there is using actual vinyl system. So a vinyl system is actually using a a polyurethane type of material. It's a really really thin. Uh, uh, essentially a plastic based material uh, it's a really soft thin material and that is heat applied to a garment so what you're doing is to kind of start with the definition of it yeah is we're starting with a literally a roll of vinyl um, or a roll of, of material like this and I have a couple right here handy so this is this is, would be a glitter type of material and this would be a opaque or a flat type of material. So these are really thin um, and pliable types of material. So if we start with a little sample piece of what some of it might look like, you can see it's it's paper thin. You know, it's thinner than paper. So it's designed to go directly onto garments, and it's designed to be comfortable to wear, wash really well. So everything that we sell at Coleman and Company for our cut and press custom t-shirt system is wash fast. You can do multiple colors on top of each other and it's not going to be thick and uncomfortable to wear. And you can do the glitter and solid colors together so you can get a couple different types of looks. Yeah. So hopefully that gives a basic of what we're working with here when we talk about the cut and press uh, custom t-shirt system being a vinyl type of system. Right. So what I'd like to start off with is probably the first thing that people ask when they talk about this type of system is, um, well, how do I make the shirt? How do I get the design? You know, what, what am I doing first? Uh, so I think what I'll do is I'll take over the computer real quick, and I'm yep. going to show you some software. So to break this down on what we're going to do, first we're, we'll open up the software and we'll look a little bit at some designs and how we would create a design. Then we'll take a look at the cutter and how the the vinyl is going to run through the cutter, the t-shirt vinyl will run through and literally cut out the design. Um, and then we'll, we'll show how you separate that design that you cut out so you can go ahead and apply it to your t-shirt. And then we'll show applying it to the shirt and a few different finished products. So you can see exactly, that's essentially how the system works. Sounds like a plan. And we yeah. should be, and this is, this is until 6.30, so it's a good 30 minutes of learning about the cut and press. So. All right, so if you don't mind, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll take a grab here. You are switched. All right, thank you. So what we're looking at here on this screen here is the software that will come with the cut and press system. So first and foremost, the system is a full t-shirt system. You don't have to buy any additional software. Uh, you don't have to buy any graphics software. You don't have to have really a ton of knowledge because we're working with a cutting system. We're working with solid colors. That means that you are not having to really 
edit artwork and work with printing and ink and all these things. It's a lot simpler uh, in, of a process. It's a, gr it's a great start, and that's also why a lot of small businesses add this, because it's a simple thing to do themselves or train other people to do. So if we're looking at uh, GraphTech Studio, which is software that comes with the cut and press system, um, I'm going to show you how we're going to make the a shirt. So let me start off actually with the finished product real quick. So let me open this back up and switch over to the camera here. I'm going to switch back really quick. Okay. So what we're going to show is if you've noticed probably already, there's a shirt here mostly done. It's halfway done. And we're going to show how to make this, this Ram shirt here. So this is what, what I would say is a typical example of a mascot type of thing. Uh, school is starting back up. Uh, fall sports are starting back up. So these are all things where this is, this is going to be very typical for a small business starting with, is dealing with mascots, youth sports, spirit wear, things like that. So if we even get a close-up of this, this is using a solid white and a glitter. Looks it's great. Two -color Looks design. great. So we're going to show how we made this, where we came from it, where we got the design, and how we did the lettering. So it's pretty simple. So now we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to make a switch back for you. OK. So we're in Graph Tech Studio. There's a lot of buttons on here. We're not going to have to worry about um, all of that tonight. We're just going to go through essentially how the system just works. So uh, the first thing that we do is we're going to work with a with the mascot. So the mascot is either, you're going to get it a couple different ways. We've got um, a actual, a graphic uh, sports catalog that you can purchase. Uh, that's separately from the system, but you can purchase that. And that's got all types of mascots and different designs for all different types of sports and mascots. But you also might just get the graphic from uh, the local sports team or school or little league or whatever it might be. So if you've got that graphic, we're going to open it up. That's the first thing that we're going to do. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up. All right, so I'm going to be working with the Action Sports CD. So we'll go into mascots. What is Action Sports? By Action the way? Sports as Action Illustrated is a company that creates graphics for the apparel industry, and we sell a handful of their catalogs. And within those catalogs, I mean, you're literally talking thousands and thousands of pre-designed. Uh, thing. So as you can see, you've got all these mascots in here. So we're going to open up the Rams, and I'm going to switch over to all files. And we're working with the Ram HD5. If you had your catalog, you'd see, uh, and I'll show you the catalog after we switch to it here. So it's going to import the graphic. This would be this could be a JPEG image. This could be something you grabbed off of a company's website or something that they provided you directly. And what the first thing we need to do is just convert it to a cuttable file. As simple as that. So the way we do that is that's automated. So you go to our what's called a trace tool, and it's going to automatically trace for us. Since these, uh, since the action file is a higher quality graphic, it's going to tra trace really easily. We select the area we want to trace, and now it's going to highlight it. Uh, the and there's all types of adjustment tools in here. Since we're working with a good graphic file, there's not too much that we're going to need to adjust here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select it, and we're going to hit the trace button. And now if you see here, we've got rid of the graphic, and we traced it. So literally right now, this can be sent to the cutter and put onto a shirt. Uh, however, we do, we're going to want to do a little bit of manipulation because we're doing two colors. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm, gonna, I'm separating the graphics. Now I've got a bunch of different pieces of this graphic. And I'm going to take these pieces. And I'm going to make them into two different colors. Now, it doesn't matter what color it is on the screen, or it doesn't even matter that I'm creating a second color. But really what I'm doing is I'm helping to tell the software that I'm going to be doing two different things at the same time. So, uh, so I've got the outside here, and then I've got the inside. So I'm going to be able to cut these separately. So I can cut one in the glitter, and I can cut one in the uh, white. Then we've got adding text. We'll put... Rams, and you've got all your fonts and your sizes and your adjustments here, your character spacing, all that. That all comes with it. We can also 
Now, I, if, you know, if you notice on my image, I've arced it a little bit. So we're actually going to create another path so we can create a little bit of an arc. So we'll create a circle here. And I'm going to literally take that and add it in. So now this is going to ride on this arc. I'll go ahead and I'll adjust the character spacing a little bit. And this is essentially how we've created that shirt. Uh, now you can make all the all the adjustments that you need here to make to get it to fit just right for what you're doing. That's great. Yeah, just a second. Sure. I just want to see if there are any questions. Nope. Okay. okay. Just great. checking. Uh, fantastic. So what I'm going to do for the sake of what we've created here is I'm going to go to the to the actual to the actual art file that I created earlier today. So you can so because I've got a couple files that are already lined up and correctly sized and everything and color. So I'm just going to switch over here so you can see. But, see but still, about how long did it did that process take? Oh, I mean, I, we're we're about 12 minutes in and right. th and three quarters of that was talking. Okay. So all all you see, the only difference you're going to see on this file here is that I've it's sized exactly the way that I want. Okay. So you click on it and everything, you see everything. So what you're what you're saying is you're not faking anything. It's yeah. actually really <laughs> easy. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Yeah. So everything here is just sized in the font that I had. I created this file on my desktop computer. Um, so I don't even have the same font sets in this computer that I've messed with. But but that's that's all we'll do is recreate this file. So I have the same thing. I've got the separate files here, if you see here. I've made all of these in the inside orange. I've made the outside red. And this circle that I'm not going to cut out, I made white because I don't want to cut that. And that's what we're going to show next is really how am I going to go ahead and, and cut this out next. Because this, this design is now basically ready to go onto a shirt um, with pending any other adjustments you would want to make with the lettering or anything like that. So that's where we'll go over to our little controller here. And it shows that we've got three colors. Um, if you notice one thing, the the design flips. It's backwards now, and that's part of cutting out a vinyl is that it actually flips back and forth um, because we're going to cut it upside down, a mirror image, so we can stick it to the shirt. And when we stick it to the shirt, now we're seeing the front of it. So what we're looking at here is almost as if is if uh, if your face was the shirt and you're looking through the shirt at the design, and your uh, the the person looking at the t-shirt would be on the other side of the screen. We're seeing a mirror image. So we can cut out the inside, the outside, and then there is that circle that we're not going to cut out. So we're just not selecting that at all. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut the outside first since I've got some white vinyl. So just for the sake, it's going to happen really quick. So all we're doing, going to do to cut it is we're going to click this button. So I'm going to turn the camera back on so you can see it happening on the cutter itself, and then I'll click the button. Okay, so here I am that we're we're ready to go. And so if you look on the bottom corner of the screen, you'll see the cutter. You're also going to see this is the this is actually the action sports set that we'd asked about. And we're working with this RAM right here. And so this is just a full catalog. As I said, this is available, this is available for purchase. There's Anything you can think of in regards to sports mascots and all that. And you could use that if you needed to use it for embroidery digitizing from a vector file or for use with a, a printer or screen printing, whatever you're doing. Exactly. They're graphics files. Uh, so these are ready to do and some, they're, anything. They're made that, for this business. Yes, they're made for the apparel industry. So these are this, this is specifically for that. So um, I... I like working with them just because they're so easy. Uh, but if you've got an exact mascot that you have to work with, that's no problem as well. So let's see here. We're going to load the vinyl into the machine. So the vinyl is going to come in rolls like this. Also, when you purchase your kit, you'll get the smaller rolls, uh, similar to as we see here. So we've got sample rolls, and then we've got full rolls. These are five yards long as they come. So there's two sides of this. There's basically a glossy side, which is a sticky side, and the back side, which is what we're going to cut. So there's a roller back here uh, that it fits right into, and it slides directly into the machine. I'm going to do it through the camera. So wow, that's talent yeah, there. there. You know. That's talent. <laughs> and we line it up to make sure it's nice, even, and straight. There's guidelines right here, and then we lock it into place. And we're going to choose that we have a roll. 
and now it's going to check. It's going to make sure that it's in the right spot. The machine is smart enough to know if you put it in the right or the wrong spot. If it's not, it's going to come out with an error. It's going to spit some out. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put it back into the position that I want it. And there we go. Now I'm going to choose. Now I'm, going to, I'm basically telling it that I want it to start cutting right here. So now we, if you can switch to, yeah. the, to the other screen and click on the send to cutter. I don't know how to do that. That's OK. Uh, let's put on the camera, though, so they can see. Because it's going to happen right away. There we go. OK. Now you get into trouble. Yep, right there. And we're going to click on send to cutter. And it's cutting. Now we just wait a moment. So while we're cutting here, I'm prepared like a chef where I've got one already <laughs> cut. That's great. And uh, we're going to show the weeding while it's cutting. And it's going to cut faster than I can weed. But the weeding is the term basically mean that we're going to pull away the, what we don't want and leave behind what we do. And literally what we do is we grab a corner of it and peel it up. And these tools come with the kit too. The kit comes with everything you need to be able to run. And we start pulling it apart. We don't have to be too careful at all. Uh, it's designed to be weeded. It is designed for this. The material is designed to separate from itself really easily when there's a cut line. And we're literally pulling this apart. And it's a neat process. I think I'm going to get the camera in a little bit closer. Sure, yeah. Come here. Close your eyes if you get nauseous from motion sick. There we go. Okay. So you're really just like peeling that stuff off around the lines that the pot are cut. Yeah, and I've done this a lot less times than you might even think. I don't weed all day. I'll tell you, uh, customers of ours that do this all day, every day. They're well, so fast. So much faster. And, I mean, it's just one of those things. You get used to it but it comes apart easily. Then you use your tools right here to actually pick out the middle of your letters. Don't want that piece in there. Okay. There we go, one. And the other one is right here, two. Okay, now set that back down. So we've got rams completed. We can see it here and also on the side here. I've already done it ahead of time with the glitter, the glitter on the top. And we're going to make this one and we're going to finish this one right here. So uh, to, to, you've already seen me switch back and forth uh, from the vinyl. You would do the same thing. So if you're doing a production run of these, if you needed to do, say, 50 of these shirts, you would finish out this roll. You would hit in the software. You would, you would literally put 50 on that sheet and you would hit send to cutter one time. And the whole roll will roll through, and you can take your knife right here, and you can actually cut them out individually if you wanted to, like this, and kind of have them stacked up and ready to go. Or you can just weed out your whole sheet at once sitting at a table. So this one I've lined up ahead of time. And I'll pull it off so you can see what we've done here. So this is our men's version of our shirt. We've got the white part already down. That's been tacked down. And we'll take our colored part from on top. All you need to do is find two, two places to line up. So I'm going to line up the mouth right here. Once that's in, the rest, the rest lands right into space. That looks great. And what I like to use is we have some silicone paper. Uh, we also have Teflon sheets. This is a nice protection for the shirt to make sure that you don't get any stains or anything on the shirt or nothing sticks to your heat press ever. It's great for the longevity of, the longevity of your shirts and your heat presses. So we're going to click that down, and that just needs 10 seconds. Is that the heat press that's part of the system? This is, this is one of the heat presses that comes. We've got two options on the system, and I'll show you in a minute um, on those. So we're done here. We're gonna, this is a swing away. We'll swing this away, put away, and then that's it. This shirt is done. So we've got, here's our men's version of the garment, the, or the, you know, more men's or boys version right here. That looks here. great. Let me get a little closer. Yeah, bring that up. 
I mean, it looks great and it feels good. You know, yeah. it feels, it's almost not there. It feels the, really the good. The feel is, is one of those things you have to feel it to believe it, I guess. You know, it's, you can't show that on the camera, uh, but it's fantastic. So the next process is you put your shirt down. Ideally, you would put this in a comfortable space for you, not sideways across in, a, in front of a camera. But you line up, you line up your heat press guys with your collar, with your shirt. Once you're there, you're going to put this down, line it up with your collar, get it nice and straight. You do your tack down, that's one second. Um, one person wants to know sure. what the brand of vinyl that you're using. This is FDC. So FDC is a premium brand. Let me tack that down. Uh, FDC is a premium brand of vinyl. So this okay. is going to be one of your best ones. Um, and that's a reason why we choose to use that. There we go. So now we've got this complete. And again, we're just going to do our second layer. So this isn't ready to wash yet. This has just been tacked down. We just did a tack down there because we're doing two layers. And again, we're going to line up our mouth. Once the mouth is lined up, the rest goes right into place. So those are just different parts of the same clip art design that you picked. Exactly. And, and actually, before I stick it on, it's probably fair to show it a little bit closer. But as you can see here, we just it's, this, it's the inside lines that we cut out earlier. Yeah. So. All right, so we get our shirt back again. Line that up there. I preference of mine, I just don't like the heat press to touch anything on a shirt. I've seen just over the years, things get on a heat press and, and you know, you don't want it that mess. So this one, we're gonna cook this again. This is only gonna cook for 10 seconds. And We've made t-shirts. We've made two t-shirts here, kind of showing you two different types of designs. In 30 minutes while you were talking. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and and that's including the design. Of them. And, and again, it just peels right off. And the rest is, is done. So we've got two shirts here completed, and we've got men's and women's. If you're going to do numbers or anything like that um, on the back of shirts, here's a, an example of that. Um, again, really easy. The software itself will help you to create these types of layers, numbers that you would put on the back to do. You could do. You can use this material. Make sports jerseys. You can make baseball jerseys or football jerseys or anything like that. There are training videos and everything like that on the software. Absolutely, and, and that's what I'm going to go into next. And the last thing is this is a little left chest logo. You can do business logos and, and a nice quality shirt. So, what I'd ask you to do is go ahead and switch us to the computer screen so I can talk about. Uh, what the system is and where you can get them. All done. So we're going to go over to the Coleman and Company website. And if you're here, you're, uh, here's us. If you click on the front right here, this is going to take you to the cut and press page. We've got a little video there showing some things, uh, some information about the vinyl and what it is. And the first thing I like to mention is this first shirt in 55 minutes tutorial. You're, you're not alone when you get this system. So we've got a 55 minute setup where you're going to make your first shirt within the first 55 minutes of you opening up the box. Literally, you open up the box. Inside there, you're going to see a clear bag with a t-shirt with uh, sample pieces of vinyl are going to be in there uh, in, in at least 10 different colors depending on the package that you buy. Uh, the weeding tools, the software, everything is in there. Just a USB drive. You stick it in. It's going to say start here. And you start there. And, and from when you're from that point, 55 minutes later, you will have made your first shirt, including installing the software and everything. So we walk you through it. And if you're stuck anytime in there, just call us up and we'll be happy to walk you through any little steps. But um, the success rate on getting that done the first time is high. I've seen people do it. Yes. So it's one not of just propaganda. When you start with Coleman & Company, one of the first things you do in your first week is we stick you in a room by yourself with a plotter and a thumb drive and we say... And no this. lights on. And no, no lights. Dark. <laughs> so we've got two setups here. We've got the cut and press starter kit. That's $22.95. That kit includes the heat press that you saw, the cutter, 10 sample rolls, about two feet of each vinyl, uh, the tools, and the software in the 55 minutes. And then we've also got the other one to consider is the one on the right. Uh, the one in the middle, if you already have a heat press, this is how you can get a cotton press system without a heat press. 
Um, and that's a professional kit. And then we've got the full professional kit. The full professional kit includes a larger clamshell style heat press. It's a 16 inch, so you can go a little bit larger in your designs. Uh, and it's a, it's, a, it's a little more of a heavy duty style of a press. So it's a nicer heat press, but both of them are pro grades. Um, now, that's, that's your full setup there. So if you click on the, here, you can click on the details. You can read. Uh, if someone asked about the vinyl, you can click on the little vinyl links in there and see the colors that we have available right now uh, in stock. And that comes in the glitter as well. And then we'll go back one page and we will take a look down here. Um, where can I get designs? That's where you can click here and you can see the different design packages that we have. Here's the action sports one. So, you know, we really like, you know, we've got a bunch of FAQs here too. Call in if you have questions. We definitely will have uh, folks available on the phone right now. If the line is busy or anything like that, just wait three or four minutes, five minutes, call back. Um, somebody will be able to answer your questions, usually after these types of things. Of, the, it gets busy afterwards. So if it's real busy, just wait a couple minutes and call. Or you can just click on one of those buttons and order one and, and get it soon. And that's actually the next thing is, is it's a, you can buy online right here. So you can, if you were going to purchase, say, the starter kit, uh, you can click Add to Cart here, and that's going to add that to your checkout. So thanks, everybody, for viewing. And give us a call. Um, again, we'll have people on the phone for the next 30 minutes. So if you need to talk and not order online, yep. call us and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thanks everybody, have a good night.